Asus launched a new laptop and it's their Chromebook. The price is amazing. The laptop is very good as well the, when it comes to the build quality and all. Should you buy this laptop if you are a student watching this video or if you are a parent watching this video and planning to buy a laptop for your uh, child because they want to attend school or college, how good is it? Without wasting any time, let's get started and let's get started with the exact point that you're waiting for. Does Google Classroom work? Yes, it works obviously. That's why this is a laptop and it works super fine. Does Zoom work? Yes, absolutely. Zoom and Google Classroom are going to be the two most requested things and both of them work super fine out of the box. No need to worry about that. But when it comes to camera, this is how the camera looks when it comes to good lighting condition. I mean, at this particular price point, I am not really going to complain. And this is how the microphone sounds as well from the laptop. If you use an earphone, then the microphone quality will change. Obviously, the microphone quality will depend on what type of material or what, sorry, what type of earphone you use or what type of headphone you use. But if you're planning to use the laptop only, then it sounds just fine, I would say. The camera quality, uh, this is a 720p uh, webcam. So pretty good for the price point, I would say. I mean, uh, if you're watching this video on your smartphone, then you may feel like the video quality is not that great. It's not that crisp, but trust me, I have uh, seen laptops costing 50, 60,000 rupees having same camera quality. So when it comes to this camera, it is definitely going to get a thumbs up. Plus when you have camera turned on, there is a white light besides the camera, which gets turned on as well, notifying you that the camera is being used right now. Next question is going to be, can you open Word document, Excel sheets and everything? Then yes, absolutely you can. Uh, everything will open in Chrome browser directly uh, if you are interested in that. But if you want to open uh, files using some other application, let's say Microsoft's Office application, then you can install that from Play Store. Literally, you can install all the Google Play Store applications on this laptop and I installed Microsoft Office and you can open any file inside Microsoft Office application as well. So no issues over there. Now Google Chrome is going to be the most used thing on this laptop. The name itself says Chromebook. So Chrome will be used a lot because if you open any Google Doc file which you have downloaded from the internet, it will open up in the Chrome browser itself and you can edit and do anything. Everything is free of cost literally because Google Doc is free of cost. Offline version is inbuilt into the Chrome browser. Now next up, let's talk about the software experience. This is not a Windows laptop. All the Windows shortcuts that you are used to, all the keys, function keys that you are used to are not really present here directly. Just look at this keyboard and tell me how will you turn on caps lock? Do you know that? How will you take a screenshot? Do you know that? I obviously I, even I did not know that. So there is a YouTube playlist which will show you all the basic things which you can do on the Google Chromebook and how to do that. Like how to turn on caps lock is something which I feel is a little bit of stretch and Asus cannot really do anything in this case. It's like Chromebooks, like all Chromebooks are built like this. To turn on uh, caps lock, you have to press alt button and the search button. So things like that are going to take a little bit of time getting used to how to take screenshot and all as I mentioned. But you can do more majority 95% of the things that you can do in Windows laptop can be done here other than playing games. I'm talking about day to day life tasks such as copy paste or taking a screenshot or things like that. Next up we are going to talk about the search button which is present and this search button is very powerful. It will search everywhere literally chrome browser play store if you have files on your laptop then it will go through them as well and it will give you a list of sessions the search button i felt was very useful i just used to search click on the search button and search for any setting that i want to change next up how is the software experience the software is good it is stable no issues over there but how is the software experience this may sound a little bit weird but i feel like this is just an android phone with a keyboard and a bigger display because uh, literally everything can be installed from Play Store and uh, literally everything that you can do on your smartphone can be done here. Uh, but some things which can be done on Windows laptop such as installing .exe file or playing some random games, then that cannot be done here. You can play games on Chromebook. There are ways to do that. But uh, once again, the gaming aspect of the laptop is not going to be uh, great on the Chromebook as compared to any Windows laptop. I know a 25,000 rupees Windows laptop cannot game very well, but at least on the lowest setting, you may get 30 FPS, whereas uh, this will not be able to run games like let's say Counter Strike on the laptop. Now, how is the overall software experience? Is it fast enough and all that stuff? Uh, obviously the software is stable, no issues over there. It does have a little bit of learning curve, but it's not a huge learning curve in my opinion. Now, when it comes to the speediness at the price tag of let's say 25,000 rupees, I do not expect the laptop to perform crazy fast and considering the price point, yes, it does perform good. Do you see lags? Will you see lags when you buy this laptop? 
then yes if you open uh, let's say youtube on chrome and search for something and then scroll fast on the youtube home page then it will lag it will take a little bit of extra time to load videos or thumbnails that is going to happen because the laptop is once again comes with only 4 gb of ram and uh, just a celeron processor which is not very powerful though. but then you get a keyboard and keep keyboard is very important when it comes to a laptop and the keyboard has it makes noise but this is not a mechanical keyboard this is a normal keyboard it has very good uh, tactile feedback as well i would say for the price tag once again if you are a student watching this video parent watching this video and planning to buy this for the student uh, their children basically then the laptop is really good with its keyboard no issues whatsoever it's just the little bit of learning curve that you will have to get used to because there are no f1 f2 f3 f4 keys here you will have to use go through that youtube playlist which i linked earlier or the in the description box below now when it comes to the battery life that's pretty good no issues over there uh, if you keep the uh, laptop on standby at least for two three days the battery will drain like little bit five percent maybe and that's a huge plus point in my opinion there are no fans on the laptop and the laptop does not become very warm we were using the laptop at maximum brightness and still the laptop was not like it is getting too hot or something like that but i know for a fact that a lot of windows laptop will become really really hot the display quality on this laptop is something uh, i was not a fan of once again there are rumors of realme launching a tablet and if they launch it below 25000 rupees in let's say 10 inch form factor then that will most probably have and will probably have a better display as compared to this particular laptop viewing angles on the laptop are not amazing but if you view the display like directly view it uh, without viewing it from the extreme sides then the display quality is good enough i would say uh, still display could have been slightly better i would say the display quality is 7 out of 10 the speaker quality here is good if the room doesn't have a lot of noise then you will be able to attend lectures and everything or with laptop speaker itself even though i would recommend you to use the headphone jack which is present at the side there is a usb type a port here one single usb type a port one micro sd card slot I don't know why it's there but it's there USB type C port is present here and another USB type C port is present here you can use the charger which is provided inside the box or you can also use a USB type C charger if you have that already a 10 watt or 15 watt charger may not work you need at least 50 60 watt charger and power delivery needs to be there in that charger and that can be used separately as well the charger is not huge which is a plus point in my opinion when it comes to opening the laptop you cannot really open the laptop with one hand though you have to use two hands but that's fine the hinge is pretty good feels solid actually uh, for this particular price tag and i'm not going to complain about the laptop's build quality as well because for the price tag of 25000 rupees let's say uh, the laptop feels good looks good and uh, the back is made out of plastic but that's good because the heat distribution is good as i said earlier uh, the laptop doesn't become hot and plastic plays a very good role in that because the heat goes away very quickly and I guess that's much it for this particular video. If your budget is 25,000 rupees strictly, then I feel like this is uh, a very good laptop choice considering Zoom, Google Meet uh, and Google Classroom. Everything can be done using this laptop. You can type, you can edit Word documents, you can do Excel sheets. Everything can be done. These are the most important things. But there are a couple of cons as well which you should know. First one is going to be the display quality as you know. I gave it 7 out of 10 which is still I feel a little bit generous and the uh, internal storage uh, uh, it is 32 GB but only 22 GB, 22, 23 GB will be available for you to use which is uh, I am not really sure how to feel about that but the great thing which I did not talk about in this video because I did not know about that is the pricing. The laptop is priced at just 18,000 rupees, 17999. Even if I compare some of the smartphones which are available at this particular price point, I feel like the laptop performs really good when it comes to comparison with those smartphones. But this is a laptop. I know this is not a Windows laptop. Chrome OS has its own limitations. But it's not like for a student or for uh, a parent who wants to do day-to-day -day tasks only it is going to matter if you want to play games then this is not the laptop for you if you want to uh, install some random exe files then this is not the laptop for you but other than that all the tasks can be done on this laptop and at the price of 18000 rupees i feel this is a pretty good laptop but if google meet or zoom are the only things that you are looking forward to then uh, there are rumors of realme launching a tablet uh, samsung has a couple of tablets ipads sometimes come at around 20 23000 rupees price point 
then those devices are also very good if we google meet google classroom and zoom are the three things which you are looking for plus the performance will be much better on those laptop uh, those tablets uh, the display quality will be better not just that but you'll also get higher internal storage and you will be able to play all the android games because uh, battlegrounds mobile india does not directly work on the laptop it says error code area or something like that but with those tablets you can play games as well very easily it's up to you whether you want a keyboard which you can buy for those tablets as well so you can consider this as a tablet with a keyboard with android os because you can install all the applications from play store including games and everything basically and I guess that's pretty much it for this particular video. If you enjoyed it, give this video a thumbs up. If you still have any more doubts, suggestions or queries regarding this particular variant that I have, which is the 18,000 rupees variant, the cheapest Chromebook. I, I was expecting the pricing to be 20,000 plus actually, but I'm surprised. I'm happy about the pricing actually uh, with the laptop that I have. And I guess that's it. If you enjoyed this video, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and press the bell icon so that you get notified next time I upload a video like this one. So yeah, thank you guys. Thank you for watching.